to pay a visit to the Piazza home while in town. Hall of Famer, Ted Williams. Yeah, he looks good. This kid looks good. He is the ball good. Damn, this kid looks good. He really looks good. Thank you. I'm not kidding you. You look great, buddy. Thank you. You do. It was like this larger-than-life character, this John Wayne character is coming into my house, and I start hitting, and he starts watching me, and he was blown away. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't think I hit the ball as good as he does when I was 16. I'm not <laughs> Holy <laughs> This kid hits the ball harder than I ever did at 15, 16. And he told him that he was a better hitter at this age than Ted Williams was at his age. Now, nobody knew about that, that Ted Williams had spoken those words. Now, I want you to cock and stride. Don't swing. Cock and stride. Stay back like you did then. Stay back. That's right. Now, swing from there. Don't go out to get the ball. Get everything back here so you can swing from here rather than going out to get it. Right? Cock and stride. Cock and stride. And Michael's doing that. He, Ted Williams said, God damn it, this kid, he catches on real quick, for Christ's sake. This kid could really hit. But you really look good. You really look good. I'm not kidding you. That kid looks good. Right, you got the scouts on him already, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I'll be your agent, buddy. It was crazy. I mean, and the one thing I never forget that Ted Williams said was, you look great. He goes, but that's only half the battle. He says, the rest is pitch selection, knowing your strike zone, hitting the ball where it's pitched, reacting to situations and off speed and it just kind of seared in my memory. Here's a kid's going to be a 210-pound kid, 20-pound kid. He's going to hit the ball. I guarantee you this kid will hit the ball. 